Hello, hello. Um, today I'm going to look at some Johnny Lightning vehicles. Um, Johnny Lightning model cars 164. And these are literally the only 164 outside of um, Hot Wheels that I can find in my area of New York City. Um, I mean, not right now, but like, um, I could find them in um, ooh, Kmart and they sell for um, 649 without tax so they're slightly cheaper than Hot Wheels premium models which usually um, the couple of times I've been out, out of town I've seen them sell for uh, 699 if I remember correctly but let's just say they're roughly around the same price and these are from 2018 I still found them earlier um, this year in my local Kmart but I think they're all out now probably um, well unless they have new stock because these are the last two and so um these two i've already opened these from even earlier and these two i've yet to open um these have like some car damage which i would assume is one of the reasons they were not picked up but right here um this is the uh, classic gold series from 2018 so this one is the amc um javelin sst we also got the uh, pontiac firebird trans am from 1978 as well as 67 buick gs 400 this is the AMC Javelin, and this one is the Oldsmobile, Oldsmobile uh, Cutlass 442 Convertible. And before, um, earlier, uh, I just looked at the um, Pagani Wire from Mini GT just now, but before I've seen Mini GT, these are 100% the best made vehicles I've seen so far. In this scale, I've, um, I think it's a, they look amazing, they feel amazing, really high quality. Um, which I'd actually I'd talk about quality, they're not like 100% perfect, but very, very well done. And I feel like they offer kind of a in-between, because this is not, obviously not like um, stock colors. It's, this is like a little more um, glaze to it, you can say. They're not like, actually no, this is pretty stock. But like they offer, they're really well made. And before I've seen um, in GT, I'd say these are like the best 164 scale model I've ever seen. Now with Mini GT, I might get some um, Jada, some Tomica. This may change, but man, I was super impressed by Johnny Lightning. Johnny Lightning better than um, better than uh, Green Light by a long shot, and I say comparable to um, comparable to Auto World, which I know is owned by the same company, but. Honestly, I, I will probably pick Johnny Lightning, uh, Lightning over um, Auto World. So let's take a look at the Buick first. Um, this is just really well-made model. I'm not the biggest Buick fan. My girlfriend loves Buick and their designs, so I got this kind of for her. I mean, it's for me, but you know. Um, she's more into Buick than I am. And you see a really well-detailed front lights. You also see a kind of the, um, yeah, just incredibly detailed. You see, again, the Buick. Um, and logo, you see the um, license plate, um, backlights, and the paint here is just incredible. Um, the interior can't see too well because it's all black, but it is there. It is fairly detailed as far as I can tell. Side, you see the uh, the line going through. You see the handle, the keyhole, and it also has an opening hood. Like, look at that. This is this is just incredibly impressive, like amazing. Um, down here you see um, on the underside, you see underside details, it's all metal. Uh, there's some more details here. I can't really pick it up, on the, not on the camera, and I can't really see it in um, naturally either. I can, I mean, it's all printed, so I can probably see it with a uh, microscope, not a microscope, with a, uh, whatever those things are called, you know what I mean. But this is really well made. The one problem I have is the wheels. It's not, I'm not sure if this is a production thing or like maybe it's just been on shelf for way too long. But like look at the tires. It's, it's a little uneven and it's not um, something that can just easily push back inside. And you see here there's a little more gap on here as well. So it's, it's not even. It's not a huge deal honestly but it's, it's not perfect. And I'm not looking for perfect. I'm just pointing it out. Ah, <sighs> Firebird, what an awesome car. Just look at the bird right here. And look at how intricately and perfectly printed it is. The front looks amazing. 
And I love this color blue. Let's see if the tires are printed. <sighs> Back detail is incredible. If you can focus, Bluebird it says. Um, again, detailed base. See the printing, but you can't really read it. I can at least. And this is what it looks like from the top. These are plastic, but not the same plastic. It's, this is a different piece, I'm pretty sure. And one of my, not problems, this is a mistake I make, but the model I got had like a, some blemishes on both sides. And I tried to rub it out with um, water and cotton ball, it didn't really work. So I made the wise decision of using um, rubbing alcohol, which usually works on fire on, on a Hot Wheels vehicles. Obviously it gets some of the paint out, but like Hot Wheels paint is pretty thick. So like even just getting the outer layer off, is, it's still, um, wouldn't show the uh, metal down, but this I royally screwed up. I this is my fault. This is not. Um, this is a hundred percent not Johnny Lightning's fault. I did this, but ooh, shouldn't have really. I shouldn't have. So just be careful. These paint are a lot more delicate than Hot Wheels. And that moves us to the uh, two more models I got. These are um, incidentally. Oh, not my first Oldsmobile, but my first AMC. So I guess let's start with this one. Again, the car doesn't, isn't that great. And you see back everything on the same set. So all I'm missing are the two Chevys. I'm probably not going to end up getting them. Unless, you know, whenever I go back to Kmart and it's restocked. But um, we'll see. This is the AMC Javelin. Oh, well, I don't collect the backing cards, so whatever. Oh, by the way, the um, the Firebird also has an opening hood. Like you can see, this is a separate piece, but I'm pretty sure it opens like so. But like, I can't get my finger down there. There's nothing. I I don't want to like scratch the paint any more than I already did. So I don't know how to open it. I look at look up online. It just says some models are tighter and some are not. And I guess I just have a tighter one. I can't really get it out one way or another, unfortunately. Um, but this one, I'm pretty sure the MC. Ooh, so this stands a little higher. Well, no, they're actually pretty much the same. Oh, well, slightly higher, but not by a significant amount. And again, like just wow, I'm thoroughly impressed with Johnny Lightning. I'm sure there are companies that can do more details, but like the paint is perfect. The details are all there. Um, it actually has printing on the. Um, license plate as well just overall an impressive model and i think yeah again the same problem you see um the tires are not perfect and i can't really press it back i i feel like there's a chance it's been sitting in the package for so long well i don't know actually i'm not gonna guess but this one is good these two this one is a little loose hmm. i don't know what to do with this but Still, overall, incredible looking model, and oh, the hood also opens. You can check out that engine. The hood doesn't open up too much, so there's not too much you can see, but I, I think this is realistic, so. But overall, oh, just gorgeous. For the price, I take this over a Hot Wheels uh, premium, like a cult, car culture, and this is, I mean, technically like 50 cents cheaper. Not that that matters at that level, but. All right, next up, we have the Oldsmobile. The uh, Cutlass Convertible. Oh. And again, these are from 2018 in the classic gold. Oh, well. That happened. How am I supposed to? Oh, okay, here. Yeah. And these are also packaged very well. There's a inner layer of plastic it out protects it and this is kind of a brown bronze color Ooh. with the previous Johnny Lightning models that are over there um, they all have a none of them are convertible on their old coupes so um can't really see the interior but you can see here and actually got uh, white chairs with ooh. Hmm. paints kind of wear off on that one or maybe just wasn't printed properly and you also get the uh, dashboard and um, the steering wheel in black. Here's also plastic in black. 
intricate grille and front lights. You see the logo, back, back lights, stopless, all right. This 442. Yeah, great model. Let's see the wheels on this one. Okay, these two are perfect. So are these two. So maybe um, it's a different wheel tire configuration that are less susceptible. What else is this? Does it say good year? It says, uh, yeah, good year. Yeah. And see the underside. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I definitely still think that Johnny Lightwing is one of the best looking, best models on this scale so far. Um, I can't speak for um, Tomica or uh, Kyosho or a lot of the other brands, but oh, by the way, these also roll. Not perfect, especially with some ones that have tire blemishes, but still roll fairly well. Definitely better than Mini GT. So um, yeah, these are 2018 Johnny Lightning Classic Gold. I was lucky to get them at actually at a uh, retail price because apparently they from what I've seen on eBay the prices for them has jumped up quite a bit I see them for like ten to fifteen dollars so I'm glad to have them and man Johnny Lightning make incredible models and I'm definitely gonna thanks motorcycle every single time like this is the problem with New York City every single time it's either a motorcycle or someone revving their engine or it's the police or ambulance but I'm not going to complain about that, obviously. But, 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 coming back, Johnny Lightning makes amazing models. And yeah, I still think so far that they are my favorite. Mini GT is more, um, which I've just reviewed, um, is more intricate. I think it probably has more details, but the overall feel you kind of get from these, especially like classic um, American, like vintage classic models. I think, ooh. Johnny Lightning does a good job, but I'll also talk about Auto World pretty soon. Got a few. Um, they're also very well made, but I think so far Johnny Lightning might be my favorite. Yeah, so thank you for watching.